time for us to get on into this topic. Now, if you follow us on Twitter or on Instagram, at Urban Hollywood Radio, we were posting today about our topic, which was, um, should you talk about your relationship on social media? Mm. Now, it's probably like a personal issue to everybody because everybody is on social media now and everybody um, has to deal with this at one time or another, whether or not to post the bay hey. <laughs> or not, all right? So um, we're going to talk about it. Let's let the only ding ding in here. Oh. Well, actually, we got two ding dings in here <laughs> today. Mr. Cash is in here, too. He's actually come from the marriage, yeah, yeah, from yeah. The marriage perspective. Yeah. So I'm Wait, yeah, let's hear the married okay, let's side Let's let the married man speak. Okay, okay. So married men, okay. should you put your relationship on social media? Hell yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Why? Why? Why not? He said, hell yeah. Yo, yeah. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, I'm into like, I mean, if, if it's out there, it's out there. If I'm going to do it out in the open public, it's going to be out in the open public. So it's going to wind up on social media anyway. Right. Mm -hmm. so. Okay. Got it. Yeah. But I mean, like, as far as fights and things of that nature. Right. Or, That's when it gets out of here. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. It, it's, a, it's a borderline of what you expose and what you don't expose. Right. But at the same time, it's like you want to respect your partner's wishes and you want them to respect your wishes. So mm -hmm. it's kind of like... <laughs> got to play it very safe. You, so why don't you go ahead and tell people um, who you are and what do you do? Okay, well, my name is Paul Martinez. I'm a resident of the Inland Empire, uh, San Marino, I California. E. Yeah, I.E. Hey. Um, Fresh Clinic originally started as a blog uh, on Tumblr. So I was posting everything from fashion photos to food-related photos, mm -hmm. uh, music photos. And then when I got to UC Riverside, uh, I noticed that a lot of people there were I don't know what it is about young people. Like they, <laughs> they don't put enough effort into their clothing. Especially college kids. Yeah, yeah. they just don't care. College kids just it's roll out of bed. Like flip flops, jeans, shirt, and a hat. Like I wear right now. <laughs> <laughs> they look like right. game every day. <laughs> With the snap back. And yeah, you know they gotta have the snap. Yeah. Do your that's thing. A, that's a fly snap back. So, oh. the, so yeah, basically, yeah. the students were dressing up to par, mm -hmm. and you felt you needed to do something about it. Yeah, I just need to. I felt like I needed to stand so, out a little Switching gears, uh, I'd like to send a congratulations to Miss Serena Williams. Hey, oh, she is the bomb. Oh, so like, so thick. She's the bomb. So she thick. is the bomb. She <laughs> dominated on the court this weekend. Hell yeah! Um, I was watching. Third consecutive win as the U.S. Open champ and 18th major singles title. Gosh, this is all on Sunday so night. She was coming off of a third round loss at Wimbledon, followed by a second round loss at the French Open. So, you know, she really needed this one, and she... she yeah. Let's magnify home. this times ten. You're a small girl out of Oakland, and now you're assigned to labels, label mates like CeeLo, Seven Streeter, K. Michelle, David Guetta, Janelle Monae, Missy Elliott. Like, how does that feel? That so fancy. Like, these people are your labels. <laughs> Fancy. Low rider, B.O.B. But this is you. Like, this is amazing. I know. I think, I mean, honestly, like, not to be boozy, but, like, it's, it's so surreal. Yeah, you like, said boozy. No, 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 no,